I would like to go me. on the record that I said this was a bad idea. I told Dang. him to go the other way and he didn't listen to me. And so I really hope that, I mean, that's not good. This is not good at all. We knew it was bound to happen. And that is that with all of the stuff going on right now, that we find ourselves <laughs> RVing in the middle of what has now become a pandemic. So it's very interesting time right now to be living the RV life. But since we find ourselves in New Mexico at the moment and the governor of the state of New Mexico has issued what is here called a stay at home order. Um, we're going to stay put in the state of New Mexico for a while and just see where things go. The interesting thing that we've noticed just over the last several weeks kind of leading up to this point has been that things tend to change very, very quickly. So now we find ourselves in a situation for someone like myself, who's a chronic planner, um, not really being able to make any plans or feel like that making plans right now is prudent to just feel like we need to stay put and not really know where our next move is going to be at the moment or how quickly that next move will be depending upon how things go. So today, um, I've really just looked at this particular stay-at-home order in depth uh, for myself on the State of New Mexico website, wanting to make sure that we are being compliant with that particular order. And uh, one of the things that the order does still allow for is to be able to still get outside, go for a hike, go for a walk, things of that nature um, as necessary for health and wellness. And let me tell you, when you are RVing with two kids and you have downsized from 2,600 square feet into 300 square feet, to be able to get outside and get some exercise in is extremely necessary for mental health and physical health as well, but especially mental health and the health of our children. exercise in, walk around, and uh, came across this field of poppies, and this is gorgeous, and there's several people here right now, but everybody's very socially distanced because this is a great place to take some pictures. The aroma, you can just smell it coming from all of these flowers, and it's just so refreshing, and with just kind of everything that's going on right now, it just kind of is a little peaceful oasis. So um, cool, super fun that we found here just outside of the Las Cruces area to just get out and enjoy nature. There's some other people that are out here taking pictures too. Everybody's very socially distanced <laughs> from one another but just absolutely beautiful place. So one can only stay inside of their rig for so long, especially when you've got two young kiddos. So we are going to go and just find a place that we can be out in the open and get in some fresh air, some exercise, maybe find just a little walking trail or a short hiking trail that we can be out on. We are armed with our hand sanitizer and our masks and 
One place we did find here in the Las Cruces area shortly after we got here was a restaurant called Si Senores that has a drive through that had excellent Mexican food. So we plan on making a stop through there for dinner. But when you're faced with times like we're faced with right now and you are hungered down such as we are right now, you still have to get out. Um, at least for us to be able to maintain a certain uh, healthy level of our minds and of our spirits. And I would like to go to on the record that I said this was a bad idea. I told Dang. him to go the other way and he did not listen to me. And so I really hope that, I mean, that's not good. This is not good at all. Try and get out. He needs to go full rear wheel. Because we, we just need to dig, dig, it dig it out here. And I hope that you didn't crack the transfer case. No, I didn't crack it. it doesn't we crack. would have heard a loud boom if we crack it. Yeah, it doesn't crack okay. in the sand. But let's remember, it's a jeep. It's not a four wheeler. Yeah. And I told him to go the other way, and he did not listen, and I was right. <laughs> Shut it off. Shut the jeep off, and let's get digging. It's the first time we've ever gotten stuck. This is only like the third or fourth time we've had the jeep out. You know, I just need a lift on the Jeep. No, we don't. We just we need wouldn't. to stick to like dirt roads, not dirt bike trails. Don't you agree? This, this, we, it's better. You know what? We we wouldn't have these kind of experiences if it wasn't for us going out and exploring like this. Like I don't know if this is the experience the kids are I want. Remember this forever. I mean. Do you ever just feel like as a woman, you need to have a little flag with the words, I told you so written on it. And then you just want to wave the I told you so flag multiple times a day. And this would be one of those times. Yeah, all we need is to dig out this mound here and get the weight back on the tires. So once we get the weight back on the tires, it won't be high centered anymore. Well, so. let's hope that we didn't damage anything no, we didn't. in the process. Nah. Okay, Dad, That's why I we have a thing? shovel. And we need to get that mound too. I have a feeling we could be here for a while. Let's see what time it is right now. It's 4.10 in the afternoon. We'll see how long this goes. I dug this out. So now we're gonna go ahead and try to um, back this right out of the mess I got us in. Hey Charity, why don't you let me do it? It might take a little bit of technique. <laughs> your technique got us stuck. Why don't I try to get us out of here because your technique didn't work too well. I got nothing. Go, 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 go. Yeah. yeah! Okay. That was awesome. <laughs> nice. Right. Maybe I'll let you drive. Yeah. yeah. No, I think I'll let you drive, but here's the deal. Let me get in. We're going to leave this area <laughs> and we're going to go to the slot canyon. the all trails app because Google would have taken us to the wrong spot so there's plus one for the all trails app for this so this is a pretty fun little trail so far very very flat very very easy uh, we'll see how far it is up to the actual canyon itself but all trails has it rated as a pretty easy trail so we'll just kind of see how long that it takes us to get over there 
but so far so good and uh, no people so we've not run into anybody we were the only car parked when we pulled up nice outdoor socially distanced family activity yeah food is different than water food is different than water they got water i think you have to have lots of water when you're in the desert like we are so i think we're getting closer to the actual canyon part just under a half mile in so far so not too bad of a hike back to where the actual canyon part starts which is pretty cool so when we came out here it's like 5 30 in the evening which hindsight 2020 should have come out a little bit earlier but i think we're getting towards the end just because of the daylight shifting i don't think probably not but you never know so just be careful what I find interesting, and I'm not a geologist or an expert in any of that, but you can just see like the different layers of, it's like you've got like bigger rocks there, smaller, I mean, just the different, you can really see layers in the soil as it goes down between, you know, rock, dirt, rock, dirt, rock, dirt. Especially here, like you can really see the defined layers there, which are really interesting. So through the canyon itself, I checked my Apple Watch is probably only maybe a quarter mile. So not very far through the canyon itself. And then you come out on the other side of kind of these hills. Now, I think the trail probably does go on further, at least according to the All Trails app, it definitely does. But it's, you know, pushing six o'clock right now and we're losing daylight. So I definitely, <laughs> don't want to be here after dark so we're gonna go back through and head on back and um i really want some si senior tacos right about now <laughs> too so favorite place in Las Cruces. It is the best Mexican food on the planet. I don't know if I'd say best Mexican well, food on the planet because I haven't had all Mexican food on the planet. Excuse me? Next to Casa Real. <laughs> Next to our favorite hometown Mexican food place. This is our second favorite so far. So, and since everything is what it is right now, it's, they have two locations. They have Si Senor's, which we've not ever been able to be in because they're obviously closed right now. But then they also have Si Turn Senor right Express. The parking lot. And, and then, then arrive at your look at this. This is this is how you know that this place rocks. Look at this. Street. We're in the street because the long line wraps around the building into the street. So you know it's good when people are lined up in the drive throughs going all the way out into the street. Just put it in the order. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Guys, <laughs> this, this is the moment what? we've all been waiting for. Here. The moment <sighs> I've been waiting for. I'm waiting for another so moment. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Here's your drinks, kids. Find a spot for them, please. Oh, grabbing for that. Thank you. Okay, here's one more. Alright, one more. Thank you so much. Mom. Yes! I'm gonna have to set this here. So this is a kind of food that you dig into mm -hmm. as you're driving. Mm. Mm. It is so good. I wish you could taste it through the camera. It's so amazing. 
some normal chips mm. without the salsa. Yeah, mom, yeah. can I have some normal chips without Thanks. the salsa? She's feeding me chips. Feed yeah, me. Feed, it. feed me, mama. Here's some feed chips for you. Me. Chips for you. you get chips. You get chips. Everybody, Everybody gets, gets chips. chips. Everybody gets money. <laughs> That's so good. Until it hits the spot. Shh. If you're going on a hike. How's yours? It is amazing. Fries. You got it. Really hits the spot after a hike. Got cheeseburger and fries at a Mexican restaurant, huh? And it tastes so good. So it's kind of a bittersweet evening here at the Las Cruces KOA this evening. This is our last night here. And um, interesting things that are just going on RVing during a pandemic is that New Mexico came under a stay-at-home order while that we were here. And so we were planning on just staying put and um, enjoying this beautiful view for a while. Um, however, they changed their stay at home order just within the last few days. And what happened was the original stay at home order still allowed for campgrounds to be open, but they could only operate at 50% capacity. The new stay at home order was revised to where now campgrounds can only operate at 25% capacity. So due to the fact that they can't have but more than 25% capacity here, we're forced to move on. And so we'll be moving on tomorrow um, to a spot where we can hopefully stay for the rest of the month during the national uh, social distancing orders and the state stay at home orders. Hopefully those will expire by the end of this month so that we can then resume some travel. But last night here, beautiful campground. It was a great place to stay. Um, they do have a pool. They've got some things that we just couldn't take advantage of because of what's going on right now. But it's a beautiful, beautiful view. We've had this view out our front windshield now for the last, I don't know, few weeks. And so a little bittersweet having to head out tomorrow, but things are what they are. And so we'll be moving on and saying goodbye to Las Cruces.